Hey guys, Peyton Snapback here again for another video for you guys today. So already, um, we got a upcoming movies number 123. So, um, before I get started, I just want to let you know, yes, I'm still going to do those other two movie reviews, but I'm possibly might do another movie, um, because I know, um, the movie Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle is on the internet as well, but, um, because I, I, I do remember last week, I, I watched half of it, but it, it kept buffering every 20 seconds, so. I really didn't even feel like, feel like, you know, uh, waiting for it to stop doing that. You know, I mean, there's days when I, when I just want to be like, okay, I kind of feel, I can just let it buffer. I, I got a lot of time, but I mean, there's a lot of, I got a lot of time. I'm all for three days, so you know what, why not, so. Yep. All right, so let's get started, shall we? Um, so, um, first one that's coming out is Sabrina the Teenage Witch uh, Christmas Episodes. Next one that's coming out is um, Lady and the Tramp, the Signature Collection on Blu-ray. I think my mom has that, does she? Yeah, she does, on VHS. Um, all right, the next one that's coming out is um, Lady and the Tramp, um, Steelbook, the signature collection on Blu-ray, and for some reason, at, at, at first, I for some reason, at first, I thought that they already, you know, uh, made, like, a live-action movie to this, because, you know, they that's what they've been doing to, like, the Disney movies lately, they've been doing it to, like, um, Cinderella, um, Alice in Wonderland, uh, what was that other one they just did, um, Beauty and the Beast, and I think I heard some about them doing, um, the Little Mermaid or something. I could be wrong, but, you know. But for some reason, and this is what got me confused, because that movie that came out in 2007, I'm assuming, called The Lady in the Water, that's... I forgot what that movie was about. I do have it, but I have not seen that in over, like, five years. So, um, I think I remember kind of liking it, though. But yeah, I always got confused between Lady and the Tramp and The Lady in the Water, so, yeah. All right, so yeah, that's Steelbook Signature Collection on Blu-ray. Okay, the next one that's coming out is The Greatest Showman, um, Best Buy exclusive Steelbook on Blu-ray. Next one that's coming out is Tragedy Girls. I just reviewed about this a couple weeks ago on like another upcoming movies um, video, but because I thought at first only like um, another country was going to put out on Blu-ray, but I guess the U.S. is also going to have a Blu-ray release as well. Um, and I do believe it's just, like, a burn-on-demand, like, you know, like, a bootleg where you have to, like, order from, like, Amazon, you know, st something like that. All right, the next one that's coming out is Wonder. Uh, 4K Ultra HD on Blu-ray. I think my teacher went to see that movie. I'm not sure. Hmm. All right, the next one that's coming out is Daddy's Home 2. Uh, 4K Ultra HD on Blu-ray. Next one that's coming out is... Yeah, there's a lot of editions of this movie coming out this week, um... Lady and the Tramp 2, um, Scam's Adventure, okay, this is a Disney Movie Club exclusive on Blu-ray, so, what the Disney Movie Club is, it's kind of like, you know, the Warner Archive collection, and that MGM thing, um, Universal, Universal Vault series, um, but you have to be, like, a member for, like, Disney, and for some, for some reason, I kind of really want to be a member for it, just to get these two Blu-ray releases that came out, because um, I have to be a member for that to get these movies I really want on Blu-ray, which is um, The Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and Honey, I Blew Up the Kid. And I I was so happy when I heard that they came out the Blu-ray, so... Um, but it's kind of a shame that they did not do the last one, um, Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves, because I... You know what? I really like the whole trilogy. I mean, it was always my favorite as a kid, and, you know, I always... Those were movies I always watched over and over again, and the second one, every time I watch it, today every time i watch it i, I just I have t i just start crying because it's just i don't know you i mean it's just, it's about a, you know it's about a baby who ends up being like 12 inches to like i don't know like like a giant so I, yeah yeah but this is the disney movie club exclusive on blu-ray so you have to be a member for that website and or they could have them on Amazon. Well, I checked um, the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids um, Blu-rays on Amazon. They were like $40, so, yeah. Alright, the next one that's coming out. Now, I don't know if this is part of the Alien series, but it's just the, like the way they have the, 
the title made. It's called Alien Dom Domicile. I guess that's how you say that. Hmm. Next one that's coming out is Anna, which looks like a pretty interesting, like, killer doll type movie. Next one that's coming out is The Lady and the Tramp. Um, Target exclusive Digibook, the signature collection, 32-page storybook on Blu-ray. Um, next one that's coming out is Creatures from the Dark. It's a double pack with the movie Yeti and After Doom Doomsday, um, Blu-ray from Germany. Next one that's coming out is Masters of Horror, um, Special Edition, Digibook, Seasons 1 and 2, um, Limited Bust Edition, Blu-ray from Germany. Alright, um, right, the next one that's coming out is, it's a movie called Zeder, Zeder, Z-E-D-E-R, you'll know down below how you spell it, um, but it's, um, Digibook, the X-rated Arrow Cult Collection, Limited Edition, Media Book, Blu-ray from Germany. Next one that's coming out is The Never Ending Story. Um, Collector's Edition, Remastered, Blu-ray from Japan. Um, next one. Um, now, why in the world do I watch this show? I don't know. I mean, I just turned it on TV one day and I was bored, you know. There was nothing even on. And I watched an episode of this, and I actually kind of liked it. And same thing with that show, Game Shakers. I was bored, and I turned it on. I actually kind of like the show. It's not, like, the greatest well done, but, you know. And same thing with this. It's not the greatest or well done, but, you know. And it's Nikki, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn. Um, new season. I don't know what season number it is. I'm assuming probably four, I think. Because I think they just already got done with three. Um, all right, but anyway. Next one. Now, this aired, I don't know if it aired last week or what, um, but it was on um, Breaking Bad. It was, they were, like, celebrating its 10th anniversary. Same thing with this other one. It was This was on AMC, by the way. Both of these were. Uh, but the other one also was celebrated on AMC, the channel. I don't, I think it was only, like, a certain movie. I don't know what, I forgot what it was called, so. I, but it was um, Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't know which one it was, but it's the 15th anniversary. They were also celebrating that on the, um, AMC channel as well. Um, next one that's coming out is Harvest of the Dead. SRS Cinema Exclusive Limited Edition on Blu-ray, which is, I think it's one of those, um, what do you call it, that mystery horror pack that, that you have to um, sign up for every month. You get, like, four mystery, like, random horror Blu-rays or DVDs. Um, Alright, the next one, now this is going to air on ID. It's a show called, um, James Patterson's Murder is Forever, all new series on ID. Next one that's coming. Next one that's also going to come on to ID is um, Who Killed Jane Doe, season two. Next one that I have here is um, now this is a Netflix original, so again you have to have, of course you got to have Netflix for, to watch this, or you can watch it on like a website. But anyway, shh. but anyway, it's um. Bill Nice Saves the World, Season 2. I did not know they were doing that show again. I remember watching that show a long time ago in 6th um, in grade. Now, um, Alright, the next one that's coming out. Now, I know that um, the Horror Pack had like limited editions of this on Blu-ray like, a couple months ago. So, but I don't even know if there was actually like, ever like released or if that was just like its only first time. But it's the movie Blood Feast, but it's going to come out the Blu-ray in Canada, so... I don't know if there was also, like, like a non-limited like limited type edition for this movie on Blu-ray in the U.S. or what. So, yeah. Alright, the next one that's coming out is Jigsaw, a.k.a. Part 8, or Saw 8. Um, Steelbook, Blu-ray from the U.K., and that one I did uh, review about months ago, and I kind of liked it. It's kind of confusing, but, you know, it was, it was one of those downloaded type movies, so, um... Probably because, you know, people are talking, I you can't really understand. But it comes out in to DVD or in Blu-ray and um, 4K in a couple weeks. I think it, there's also a 4K release. I don't know. I've reviewed so many freaking movies over the last five years that I can't even remember them anymore. Hmm. All right, but anyway. Um, 
Next one that's coming out is Puppet Master VHS Richo Big Box Collection Blu-ray from Canada. And I'm not really a big fan of these movies, but I kept them just in um, the, the pack I had because I had a ninth film pack from Echo Bridge Home Entertainment. I just kept it, I don't know, because I might watch them again at some point. Because I think I kind of remember liking the first one, and that was basically it. And I think I kind of liked 4 and 5 a little bit better than how I used to. I can't remember. I have to rewatch them all again. Um, all right, the next one that this is also on um, Netflix. This is also a Netflix original, but it's um, Black Mirror, Mirror season four. Next one that's coming out is um, the Iron Giant, sick, yeah, sig signature edition on Blu-ray. Next one that's coming out is the movie Wonder, Target exclusive, three disc deluxe edition with thirty minutes of bonus content on Blu-ray. Next one that's coming out is Double Pack with Daddy's Home and Daddy's Home 2 on Blu-ray. Next one that's coming out is Zero Dark Thirty, Best Buy exclusive, 4K Ultra HD on Blu-ray. Um, next one that's coming out is Mr. Robot, the complete third season on Blu-ray. Next one that's coming out, now I could have sworn that this was already released from... Oh wait, never mind. I'm thinking of something else. Never mind. But um, the next one that is coming out is Fargo, which I do know that a Shout Factory edition is coming out um, of that. But this is um, the Digibook Limited Edition Media Book, Blu-ray from Germany. Next one that's coming out is the movie The Star, um, 4K Ultra HD on Blu-ray. Next one that's coming out is Murder on the Orient Express, the 2017 film to remake. 4K Ultra HD on Blu-ray. Next one that's coming out is Thor Rag... Ragnarok. I guess that's how you say it. Target exclusive Digibook on Blu-ray. Next one that's coming out is Thor Ragnarok Cinematic Universe Edition Blu-ray from Germany. Or, my fault. I have a brain fart. Alright, 4K Ultra HD on Blu-ray. God, what in the heck am I doing? Um, Alright, the next one that's coming out is Thor Ragnarok Best Buy Exclusive Steelbook 4K Ultra HD on Blu-ray. Okay. Ow, I got it. <laughs> um, Alright, the next one that's coming out. Now, this sounded kind of pretty inter interesting. But it sounded kind of stupid at the same time. It's a movie called Attack of the Southern Fried Zombies on Blu-ray. Next one that's coming out. Now, this kind of shocked me because I didn't think that something like this would come out. I'm, I'm not going to get it because I already got the Blu ray. Um, but it's the Sandlot 25th Anniversary Edition on Blu ray. Because um, I know five years ago they released the 20th Anniversary Edition, and there was really nothing that great about the edition. The edition. It was um, the only thing that, that was amazing. It was just. I think it was just the first time on Blu-ray, and there was really no special features or anything. It was just, like, the trailer, TV spots, like, that's it. Um, and I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know if, if this, if it came with these things when, um, when the set came out, or when that movie came out in, in 2013, but the, when I got mine, because I got mine at, um, Big Lots for five dollars, came with, with, with these, like, trading, well, not trading cards, they're, like, baseball cards with, you know, the characters from the movie, and, like, the Beast, uh, Smalls, Ham, yeah, yeah, like, all them kind of people, um, yeah, but I don't know what this is gonna have, I don't know if there's gonna be, like, special features, like a new commentary or deleted scenes or anything, I, I don't know. Alright, uh, the next one that's coming out is Barbara Lola, um, Steelbook on Bully Ray. Next one that's coming out is 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Ben Gazi Steelbook on Blu-ray. Next one that's coming out is Death Wish Walmart exclusive Steelbook on Blu-ray. Next one that's coming out is Two Fairy the Two Movie Collection on Blu-ray. Next one that's coming out is Ballers the Complete Third Season on Blu-ray. And the last one that's coming out is Boris Karloff and Bella Lugos Four Move Four Horror Movie Collection. And all these were, like, burn-on-demand movies, like 
for the um, Universal Vault series, but it's um, The Black Cat, the 1934 film, The Raven, the 1935 film, The Invisible Ray, and Black Friday, the 1940 film. And that is it for upcoming movies, number 123. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a couple of hours for those other movie reviews, and possibly a review of the movie Jumanji if I get the chance to watch it, which I'm pretty sure I will. But yeah, see ya.